All right, thank you, Tucker Barnes. Hey, you know, for a fiscally conservative guy like me, this next app could be a dream come true because it pays you to shop and supports local businesses while you're doing it. Now, it sounds too good to be true, but that's the idea behind you, True, a, a new app hoping to uh, take online shopping to a whole new level. And you think, think about this. Think Groupon meets ride sharing. It teams up with local businesses to, to bring the best deals right to your phone, helping you make money while browsing ads. So here to tell us all about it and how it works, you true CEO and former NFL player Nolan Carroll. Good morning to you, Nolan. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in and, and, and breaking this all down for us. So you're a former NFL player. You played eight, eight years in the, in the league, mm -hmm. and now you come up with this. How on earth did you did you dream this up yeah, and was, get this going? It was kind of cool. Well, I opened up a business down in South Florida. It's a mm -hmm. 3D printing store. And right before I was opening up, I, the first thought in my head was, how am I going to be able to portray this business outside to everybody else to know that I'm here? And a lot of times when you have a new business, you want to cut costs on marketing and certain uh -huh. different things because you want your business to run efficiently. So then I met my business partner now, but at the time he wasn't just a friend. And he told me about the concept of, of having small businesses on an app and giving them an advantage for have people see them on the app to compete with a Walmart, a Burger King, mm -hmm. a, a McDonald's, those people that put in millions of dollars in advertising monthly to be out there in the public. So mm -hmm. for you, True, we're giving them an opportunity to have a, a focused number of, of people in traffic come onto the app, see the businesses, see what might be out there as far as discounts, but in return, we're paying the customers for watching the advertisements. Oh, wow, okay, so, so that's pretty, so you download the app, for and free. then for free, and then you just all everything just comes to you at that point. Well, once you download the app, you'll see the business that are in your area. So in DC, uh -huh. whatever businesses are in DC, like this if it's area. Wisdom Wisdom Martin's uh, Sports Shop, yeah, okay, that. it pops up on there. It pops up on there. Once you go on there, it'll for like ten seconds, you'll be able to be on be on the uh, the company's website, right. whatever it is. And mm -hmm. then after that, you'll see at the bottom it says Got it. You click got it, then you have the 10 cents put into your account. Gotcha. Okay. All right. That sounds like a pretty good idea. I mean, pretty I mean, easy. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty easy, easy, right? So uh, you are, you went to the University of Maryland. Yes, sir. Uh, talk about the transition from football to the business world, because now you are in the business world and you came up with this app. So so how, was that an easy transition for you? Is this something that you always knew in the back of your mind when you were at Maryland? Yeah. You know that football can't let play forever, so I got to come up with something else? Yeah, well, it, it's funny how it kind of came about. You know, when we're – when I'm a, when you're playing football, mm -hmm. you, that's your only identity. That's the only thing you kind of think about. But for me, I always knew I wanted to do something outside the football field, and you know, I appreciate my parents, you know, really instilling that that mindset of of not letting one thing define you, right. and always trying to do something else outside the field. And just so happens that I was able to meet my business partner Jean Paul, and he was just guiding me through you know mm -hmm. the business and how to have the mindset to run a business and and make it efficient. It just so happened that we just combined and we clicked as far as the friendship part of it. Right. And he brought me in on you, True, to, to help make it grow. And, and here we are today. And, and I'm glad, you know, I'm thankful that I was able to have a mentor like that that could guide me through because it's hard transitioning from football into whatever else you're trying to do. Right, right. For some of your, uh, your, your role models, if you will, uh, is there somebody out there that you were looking at, uh, like right towards the end of your football career when you were playing in NFL, you were saying, okay, all right, this is coming to an end. I need to, I need to you know, get my eyes on something and I need to have a role model. I know you said, Jean Paul, is there anybody else out there that you were looking at and you're saying, this is what I need to, need to go after? Definitely. The biggest and best example I've had when I was playing and mm -hmm. then when I got towards the end of my career was Michael Strahan. Uh -huh. Michael Stra Strahan played for the Giants for, I think, 14 yeah. years. And then just made it such a seamless transition right. into broadcasting. And now he has TV shows. He oh, has, he has all he has all, all the jobs. You know? Yeah, he won't share any with, with me, but that's all he, good. Yeah, <laughs> he, he won't either. But he's, yeah, he, right, right, right. for me, in my eyes, he's a standard yeah. Of, yeah, he of how it is to transition. And he made it so seamlessly. But I know it took hard work. But mm -hmm. the way he was able to do it and portray it to everybody else, he just made it seem like now he's just having fun. Right. So me seeing that, that's the, that's the position I want to get toward. That's how I want to build my life like he has right okay what's next for you for your company here and and you true what's next what's next is we're, we're going to expand so we've expanded to dc now we started in in miami new york la and chicago so now we're here in dc and little by little we're just going to grow and grow we don't want to spread ourselves out too much and not be able to to reach all the businesses and give everybody a, a, a fair chance to be out there to to compete with all these other businesses right. that are around that are spending countless of dollars just on advertising just so you can see it and, right. you know and 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 drive those customers to sales. So we're, we're really trying to, to make it as efficient as possible okay. for everybody that is using the app. All right, and that's all, you just put that into your search search engine, right, on your phone, yep. you true, and, you, and you're good to go. You true, you put it in on your app or, or Android phone, and then after that, you sign up, it's free to sign up, and then you just go ahead and get paid. All right, cool, all right.
No, thank you very much for coming no in. You sound like a good idea. I'm going to yeah. sign up and see if I can give me some extra money while I'm shopping, getting my shop on. <laughs> Appreciate you coming in and hanging out with us this morning. No problem. Best right. way to make money ever. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Lottery. Yeah, lottery it's easy money. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Nolan. Thank Thanks, Wade.